Good day. Um, today I'm at the tennis court where I do some lessons, coaching lessons. But as time um, goes on and one is coaching, one realizes the significance of talking about the grip and also what one can do, be it for beginners or be it for allied players, what one can do to correct the grip or also to find out if one is playing the grip correctly. What I've noted and what I think is the simplest way that I want to use in explaining how one could grip the racket is just to understand that on your racket you've got what will be referred to as the back side, the front side, the top side and the bottom side. So basically with the forehand you will always make sure that you hold where I've defined as the back side of your racket. So that's just it. That's where you look into it. If this racket is facing that side, so this will be the back side of my racket. So the other strokes you hold, of course, on top of the racket, be it yourself, your volleys, your back end, and all that. So that is what I want a beginner to know, that you only focus on two sides of your racket, the back side and the top side of your racket. Now, how do I know that I am holding my racket correctly? Now, stay with me. This is where I'm going to do a demonstration of what you need to do. Okay, now let's demonstrate what I said would be a signal or a sign to say to you, you are holding your racket correctly or incorrectly. Now, let me take you to something that is very similar or familiar to a lot of us. All of us as kids, we have enjoyed ourselves on, on singing. Um, now, when you are singing like that, um, you remember you have all the correct motions that one would need on a tennis. You've got your, your, your take back, you have your hitting, and also you've got your follow through. Now, in order to test the correctness of the grip, then when you do that, you do your squats. You go down, you must roll a ball, then you get your follow through. Now, when you are doing that, if your, toucher, your, your racket touches the court, then it means that you are not doing it correctly. So what we're going to do, I've got balls that I've lined up here on the baseline, so I'm going to demonstrate this practically. So whenever you hear a sound of the racket touching the court, then you know that the racket is incorrectly gripped at the contact of the ball, and that is where a lot of mistakes will happen. Then the stroke will be incorrect, and the result will not be what you want. Now stay with me as you go to demonstrate this on those balls. Okay, now let's start the demonstration um, of the correctness of the grip on the forehand. Now the first three that I've played, on contact there was always a sound of the racket hitting the court. Now that is a sign that all those three balls were played incorrectly. Now, let's play the last three correctly. You had nothing in terms of the racket making contact with the court. So it means that when we were on contact with the ball, the racket was as straight as possible. It doesn't matter how it will go back and all that, but on contact, it must be as straight as possible. And in order to test whether your racket is straight on contact, this is the drill to do. I'm sure you have noted that when I played the last three balls, the racket was not making contact with the court. Now that shows that the racket was as straight as possible on contact. And that's what's very, very important. Please go and watch this video. Go and try this on your practice court. The good thing about it is that you can even practice it on your driveway at home, see if it works. My name is TJ Wakamashimzi. Go and check my uh, YouTube uh, channel and also don't forget to subscribe. Also make comments. Ciao.